Welcome to a new episode with ideas, insights and inspiration for your life, work and love. You are listening to the Constellateur podcast with your host Tom Wittig. In today's episode of the Insights Journey podcast, we will be exploring the challenges of finding the right leader for your family-owned enterprise. This can be a daunting task, but with the help of systemic constellations and coaching, we can make this process smoother and more successful. As an advisor for systemic approaches in business and organizations, I have helped many family-owned enterprises find the right leader for their business. Here are some of the expert tips and advice that I can give you. First, identify the ideal candidate. Before you even start your search, you need to have a very clear understanding of the characteristics and the skills that you are looking for in a successor. This can be done through the process of a systemic constellation, where we can identify the ideal candidate, the characteristics and the qualities of a successor. It is often not easy to identify what makes a good candidate, or even better, what is a candidate that might be a good fit in the field of the family owned business. By using a systemic approach and a systemic constellation approach, we can explore the different dimensions of this field and also try out different potential possibilities and pathways. Secondly, the family-owned business, or particularly the family-owned business, is all about relationships. And we should not forget that in the family-owned business, at least two fields are coming together. The field of the family and the field of the business. Therefore, it is important to involve the family right from the beginning before even starting formal activities in the succession planning process or even the decision-making process. By doing so, you can ensure that the entire family is on board with the decision and you can avoid any conflicts down the road that might disturb the whole process or may even cause you to start from the beginning again. A systemic approach can help you facilitate this process by creating a safe and supportive environment for the family members as well as the organization and the candidates. It also helps to build and strengthen the relationships both within the family and in the business organization. The third advice I would like to give is to develop a plan for the transition. Even though in the constellation approach, we sometimes go somewhat unusual ways and we are exploring the not so quantitative uh, aspects of uh, a business or a, a given field. But it's also important to make a plan. Once you have found a set of appropriate candidates, you need to create a plan for the decision-making process and for the transition and handover. This plan should include a clear timeline for the handover of responsibilities and a detailed job description for the new leader. Systemic coaching and constellations can help you develop this plan by providing a structured and doable 
and feasible process and plan for the transition. And this can help you to ensure a smooth transition and handover. And it is important that at the end of this transition and handover process, all the uh, people who are involved in this uh, process are free, free to do their part in this uh, handover and transition, but also free to continue on their path, either letting go of the business and pursuing interest in your retirement or your next chapter, and also for the business and the successor, it is important to be able to be free and carry on and developing the company further into their next chapter. In conclusion, succession planning can be a challenging process for a family owned enterprise. But with the help of a systemic approach, you can make a smoother transition and a more successful process. Remember to identify your ideal candidate, involve the family and develop a clear plan for the transition. By following these tips and steps, you can ensure a happy enterprise and a continued success for the business and the successor. Good luck. Thank you for listening. I hope you found interest and insights for yourself and for others. Please share this episode with your family, friends and colleagues.